Hello viewers, I am Dr. Shailesh Kumar Garge, City Vascular Hospital. Today we will see one of the common questions asked by the patient of the uterine fibroids. Why I am developing this symptom suddenly? These fibroids were there since many years. On, I found them on my routine scan, but suddenly why this have become problematic or symptomatic for me in last three to six months? What changes or what ch changes have made these fibroids to become symptomatic? So we'll understand the growth pattern of the uterine fibroids. So first we need to understand what is this fibroids. So fibroids are the one which develops from a typical uh, smooth muscle cells of the uterus. So uterus has three layers, inner layer which sheds off that is during the time of menstruation the bleeding will occur, another is the muscular layer that is smooth muscle layer and outer is the covering that is serosal layer. So these fibroids they develop from a stem cells of the smooth muscle cells and these cells they repeatedly divide, multiply more compared to the normal smooth muscle cells and they form a firm rubbery like mass which is distinct from the rest of the smooth muscles of the uterus and you, that is the reason you find them in oval shape or round shape and uh, separate uh, but they are fortunately but they are not the cancerous they multiply rapidly they increase in size they occupy the space of the uterus and they cause the problem symptoms so what has made this um, sudden changes or why some fibroids they grow rapidly we see so the growth pattern they in the fibroid they vary significantly some fibroids they grow slowly that you may see in a year or so maybe a millimeter that is two meter two millimeters three millimeters they increase in height and some fibroids they grow very rapidly they can grow uh, every month to up to a one centimeter size and some fibroids they stay same size they neither grow and neither shrink they appear same whenever you go for the scanning the fibroid size measures same uh, there are some particular situations where the fibroids suddenly grow and then stop at the same size or they shrink on their own the the classical example of that is the time of the pregnancy so females those who are having fibroids in them which was smaller before the pregnancy and after the pregnancy these fibroids suddenly grow in the size and after pregnancy they shrink they shrink in most of the patients without causing any trouble so from this we can understand that the fibroids they grow under the influence of certain effect that is the hormone estrogen and progesterone so estrogen plays a main, uh, very significant role in the growth of the fibroids so some patients or some fibroids they have more receptors for this estrogen so so those patients who are having more receptors they the effect of the estrogen will be more so during the pregnancy these estrogen receptors will increase in number and that's the reason the estrogen effect is more during the time of pregnancy so similarly when the patient is have overweight lack of exercise vitamin d deficiency so these estrogen receptors become more and suddenly you will see the growth that's the reason after the pregnancy once the uterus size shrinks the fibroids also shrinks and go, goes back to the normal so that depends upon multiple factors the estrogen receptors the what is the level of estrogen levels in your body so these are the few reasons that's the reason every patient will have different growth patterns of the fibroid in there if you have any doubt or comment please put them in the comment box thank you for watching the video hello viewers mana city vascular center lo mana subscriber ayundi afford cheyni patient ku manam every month oka free surgery chestunnam so meer cheyalasindi endante meer subscribe unna screenshot ni kinda ichina whatsapp number ki share